Hey, what's up, YouTube? Israel back again with another first impressions video. Uh, just got back from the Rangers game. Uh, we won four to three. Uh, it was a day game, so I uh, thought I'd share that with you guys. Had a, had a win. Uh, we're not doing so well this this year right now. I think we're seven games back of the uh, Athletics, but uh, hopefully it's a long it's a long season. So hopefully we'll we'll do better. So anyway, so I have a first impressions video of a fragrance from a house that I introduced uh, last week. I um, uh, if you want to go back and, and look at my video I did of the first fragrance I did, uh, you can. Uh, I'm not going to really go to too much information of the of the house like I did in the first video, but you can go back and watch it. Uh, but the uh, the house is called A Lab on Fire, and I got a uh, fragrance through a swap uh, last week from it, and I ended up uh, liking it quite a bit, actually. Uh, right now, it's a 10 in my list, and that is called uh, What We Do in Paris is Secret by A Lab on Fire. And so I was really in intrigued by the house. This one's like a, a gourmand, sweet vanilla, honey, lychee, uh, fruity vanilla, uh, very nice scent. Uh, very, very good. Very um, under the radar house, uh, in my opinion. I don't really hear too much about this house. They've been around for a few years, um, uh, maybe five or six, maybe more years than that. But it's been a few years that they've been around. But I don't really hear too many people talking about that. And I really like that about about this house because uh, you know um, they're not being overhyped and they're not being. Uh, uh, they're, they're just not like, uh, not everyone's going to have this fragrance or, or fragrances from this house. So I, that, I really like that. I like, I like to be a little exclusive with some of the stuff that I like. I, I don't like wearing what everybody else likes. Um, so anyway, so I, I said in my last video that I don't know if I'm ever going to get my hands on anything else from this house, a lab on fire. And uh, darn it, if I wasn't on, on the fragrance swap thread the other day, um, a few days later, and I came across another... Uh, scent from this house and there are, there are seven fragrances in this house and two of them are uh, Eau de Parfum which means they're hot, they're better uh, probably longer longevity and and uh, you know just stronger scent you know and the rest of them are EDPs or uh, I think one might be an Eau de Cologne but I think the rest of them are EDP or EDTs for sure Eau de Toilettes um, but luckily the one that I saw on the swap thread uh, was from a, a lady named Tamara so if Tamara's watching this, I don't know if she's a watcher or not, but uh, shout out to you. But thank you very much, Tamara. She was selling a bottle of Liquid Night, which uh, is uh, another fragrance from the same house. And uh, it wasn't too much. It was a little more than I wanted to spend, but um, it wasn't a retail price or anything like that. It was way less. So uh, I got lucky. Uh, and plus, like I'm on swap threads all the time. And I never see this house on there. So I had to buy it because I never... Uh, I would never know when they're going to have another uh, bottle um, up, you know, from this house again. So, um, anyway, so here's the package. Here's the box. Got it today in the mail. And uh, there's going to be another first impressions video. I've never smelled this before. Uh, here's a little bit of uh, pr a little preview on what's in it. Um, it's called Liquid Night. It's by uh, The Nose. It was released 2012. The Nose is Carlos Benaim. Burnt, burnt. Maybe Benaim, Bahrain. Not really sure. I can't. I think I wrote an N there. So we'll say we'll say Bahrain. Uh, like I said before, uh, it's a woody, spicy. Released 2012. Top notes of bergamot, lime, and saffron. Uh, the mid sage, lavender, hinoki wood, and uh, the base is incense, vanilla, and musk. Um, and this pretty much is supposed to capture uh, New York City lifestyle in a fragrance. Uh, it's supposed to explore the hidden depths of New York City. And what the city has to offer um, in uh, in a fragrance, so uh, that's a big task because you know I, I've never personally been to New York City, uh, but uh, I I can only imagine what there's probably so many things that go on. There's so many stories, so many different feelings, so many different um, just different times of day, and just so much that goes on in that city. I can't imagine how one fragrance will be able to to envelop all of those aspects in the one fragrance. Uh, but who knows? You know, we'll see. We'll see what it is. So, anyway, here's the box. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Cut it open for you guys to save a little time. And um, <laughs> she sent me a little thing of Garfield candy, which I think is very cute. Thank you for that, Tamara. And uh, she also sent me two other um, fragrances here. I guess in a little girly bag. Looks like Montal Oud Velvet and Roses Elixir by Montal. So I might be actually reviewing these. 
thanks again. This is actually really, really good um, for a sh person who's selling fragrances. Uh, this is actually a very, very big plus, and I need to actually, I'll personally thank her here in a little bit after this video. Um, but I think this is uh, this is really nice. There's a note here too. Uh, it says enjoy this little sampler. So that was very sweet of her. Very nice. I uh, give her a uh, big. Big marks for that. Very big props. So thanks again to Mara for that. Here is the fragrance in the bag. And I, I again, like even though, like I said in my last video, this, this the, the presentation isn't the best, you know, but they want to cut corners in their fragrances by uh, using um, not that, you know, this looks like a space bag that you would get like some kind of, you know, or like the, uh, the rations or the army rations that comes in a bag, you know, so it's kind of like that. But, you know, I, I like it. You know, it's 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 different. It's definitely different, and it's cool. You know, and so uh, I'm assuming this bottle is going to look exactly the same as the um, what we do in Paris is secret. Um, so let's take it out of the package here, and it's it's all foamy and stuff on the inside, so it's nice and safe for you guys there. And I was right. It is Liquid Night. Has the same cap as the first one. Uh, I'm trying not to smell it so I can get every last second of the first impression on the video here. So here's the same cap as the last one. This one has a sticker on it uh, that's pretty much um, a uh, description of the fragrance. See if I can read this kind of fast to see. The mysterious, the unlikely, the ultimate enigma, a lab on fire, is a limited production fragrance house, a brilliant collaboration with the brightest talents in the industry to create original fragrances of the highest uh, ingenuity freshness and quality each fragrance is designed by the famous nose by a famous nose to be contemporary refined and rich each package is designed and emphasizes simplicity and industrial chic uh, glamour is about finding the unique and luxurious and surprising places mystery means not revealing your secrets Wrap yourself in a mystery and glamour. Welcome to a lab on fire. So I think that's a pretty cool little introduction. It says that all right here. Kind of hard to read because it's sort of uh, in gold printing along a gold juice in the background. So um, yeah, so uh, I got a pretty good uh, deal on this. Uh, and there's probably about 85% left. So I got a pretty good deal. And it's an EDP, so it should last a long time on my skin. And here is Liquid Night. And I will take my first impressions here. And again, I'm falling in love with this house after every fragrance that I smell. This will be the first one here. This, be, this is going to be the second one. So we'll see what I'm getting here today. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Um, it starts off kind of woody, and it's turning already. It's already turning sweet, spicy. It started off a little, um, a little dry, almost kind of dry, kind of bland, but it's seriously turning really, really fast now. I'm starting to get like a milky, spicy, like a milky, spicy wood, sweet, milky, sweet, spicy wood. I can get the vanilla and I can get the incense. This be nice in the um, in the winter, in the fall. Yeah, I mean I've never smelled anything like this before, so this is uh, this is new. Again, this is kind of a new uh, scent, uh, and I'm, I'm sure there's something out there that it smells like. I mean, a lot of these things, uh, a lot of these fragrances do get repeated um, on accident or sometimes on purpose. This one has like a milky, sweet, um, almost like a cinnamon vibe, but there's no cinnamon in this. Uh, so I don't know what that comes from, I guess. Maybe the sage or the saffron, but it's definitely like, and I get a little bit of that uh, bergamot. So it's like, um, um, it's like, a, like, a, like a milk with a orange. So you get like that, um, 
what's that called? The, uh, the orange, um, uh, creamsicles, you know, the, the dreamsicles, that what they're called? They're orange with, uh, uh, or like, uh, orange Julius, like that, you know, or like, a you know, uh, but more, it's dreamsicle, I think. It's like the orange, um, ice cream with the vanilla ice cream on the inside. It's kind of like that. Yeah, I mean, it's sweet and spicy and woody. I mean, it's good. It smells good. Um, doesn't smell like, um, it doesn't smell like, um, what we do in Paris is secret, uh, at all. It's completely different, but they are both sweet. This one's more like sweet, green, spicy green. Yeah, woody, spicy, um, It doesn't remind me of anything else. And that's what I love about this house so far. Both both scents that I've had from this house um, are uh, very unique. Very, very unique in their own right, uh, which I think is awesome. Um, I can't really give it marks right now. But I mean, definitely. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna keep this one. Uh, I'm, I'm. This house is so exclusive to me that I'm gonna keep all my lab on fire stuff. I'm not gonna swap them or trade them. Yeah, it's starting to get woodier now. Like, 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 um, like woods, like, like cedar type of wood, uh, like actual fresh cut wood. like spicy it's probably the hanoki wood so yeah so it's like spicy that hanoki wood starting to come out pretty good now so like that's the sweetness is starting to go away into the background of that hanoki wood so now i'm getting more like a fresh cut sweet wood it smells good i mean it smells nice very complex i don't know how this reminds you of new york I and mean, if they're talking about new york nightlife um i don't know how that would uh pertain to this um, fragrance, but I mean, hey, that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Yeah, this is a good fragrance, though. I mean, definitely high quality, um, high quality juice, niche quality, worth the money. I mean, I can't tell you about longevity, but if it's anything like uh, like uh, what we do in Paris is secret, then it's going to last about the same amount of time. So, anyway, that is um, a Lab on Fire, a, a woody, spicy fragrance. This is a, I mean, Liquid Night, I'm sorry. Liquid Night by Lab on Fire. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can pick up a bottle if you are, or pick up a sample. Uh, they're for, they have uh, samples on Lucky Scent. I think th this one's 4 bucks, and this one is 5 bucks for a, a .5 ml, I think, um, sample. But right now, I say definitely suggest these two. Um, this one's more sweet gourmand, and this was more sweet woody. Definitely already taken more a turn towards the spicy wood. Now this smells like a forest. Now, honestly, now it's like this is like rainforest. This is more like um, walking through a, a dewy forest with like fresh fresh trees around you and like green. I see green leaves and stuff, and you're walking going camping. I'm getting like like that kind of piney woody now. This stuff's turned pretty good. Um, I like it. I actually, actually, I like it a lot. I can't give any marks right now, obviously, but um, it's going to be again high on my list. I'm, I really have a lot of respect for this house and their their noses and what they're what they're putting out there. Their their, their product is pretty quality. So anyway, so um, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this fragrance. Let me know if you've tried it. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can uh, find samples of this stuff or just buy a bottle outright. I want to thank Tamara again for um, selling me this fragrance. She thanked me a hundred times for helping her out. She was looking for some birthday money or something. So I was like, hey, that's fine. You know, I'll oblige and I'll I'll, uh, I'll pay for this stuff. And uh, you know, she gave me a good deal. I think in my own in my own uh, uh, little system of uh, buying and selling uh, fragrances. So I think I got a good a deal, and she helped me out getting another one from the same house. So, yeah, so anyway, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what your scent of the day is. Let me know if you tried this one, if you like it, if you hate it. And until the next video, you guys take care. Bye.